name is Mehi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I am switching up my hair once again before you click off. Okay, I'm going to Cabo and I really love this hairstyle, but I want to switch up the front to do the little crisscross boho hairstyle with passion twist. It's going to be cute. Okay, and I feel like it's going to get even cute, a little sexy, just a little a little oomph, the little oomph that I need. Okay, I'm really loving the clippings though. Like they're lasting for sure. But um, this front part is gotten a little old too. So I think it's time to switch it up. So stay tuned and show you the techniques for the parting, the products, all of it. Okay, don't go anywhere. The takedown for this should be real quick just cause it's like a few fat braids, but I'm gonna go in and cut out like the hair from the beads that we put in. If you haven't seen the last video of this install, go back and watch it. It's real cute. And this is super easy. So you just put your scissor in here just cut okay my hair is long but it's not that long so i'm just gonna cut it down here Ooh. and just slide it off and you can unbraid i can see my hair stops like right here so be careful if your hair is long please be careful okay so i'm just gonna take that down i don't know why i started on the third one but it's just take down so it's all good this was such a good like go-to hairstyle definitely adding this to my list because it was really it was quick to do and they're bigger braids so the takedown process isn't long and also it's just so cute i got so many compliments on this hairstyle like there was one lady who stopped me at the airport and she was like your hair phenomenal phenomenal it's real cute Thank you. These beads are so freaking cute. I got like a bunch, this really big pack from Amazon. It's gonna last me for days. So I got half my head done. Mm, my hair is getting super moisturized. Let's see. Mmm. Let's give me a length. All right, let's give it a length. We only got four more. And that only took me like five minutes, maybe less. Got braids, big braids. It's the way to go. Like these jumbo braids, so easy to take down. Like it's only taken me literally maybe five minutes on one side. And I will be done soon. Hopefully the styling process isn't isn't too long. It shouldn't be. I really just saw this hairstyle on TikTok and I was like, ooh, let me try. The back, they definitely had, I think like passion twists with this hairstyle, but I like the clip-ins and I was like, let me let me do a little remix, you know? So I was like, maybe I could just do the front of my hair like that, put a little passion twist hair and then leave the back out with the clip-in extensions. So here we are. I wouldn't be mecky if I wasn't trying all these crazy hairstyles, okay? And it's like my thing. I just like, I love to challenge myself though. That's like the big part, bro. I'm like, let's see if I can do this. Maybe even do it better. <laughs> Maybe even do it better, you know? Let's see what this looks like. Pretend like, you know, with the hair, with the clippings. I just wanna see what this looks like, see if it blends. Mm. It's a little too much with the leave out. I think I might have to even add more clippings, but like this. Oh my goodness, this looks exactly like my hair. Like if I just clipped it like this, I think I can fool a lot of people. But let's get into the regularly scheduled program, okay? So all I'm doing to attempt this style is some rubber bands that I had left over. They're not even in the case anymore, but. And then I got one pack of Passion Twist hair in the color 1B. This is the hair color that matches my hair color the best. And then my Shine & Jam. Y'all know I love this bottle. So parting for this hairstyle isn't that hard. We're just gonna make some big chunks. So like straight lines here, 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 and here. I think I'm gonna do probably one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. I might do six um, and split them up into threes. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna pre-part, y'all know I like to pre-part. So I'm gonna pre-part the sections first before I do the smaller section. Oh, that ain't my hair. Let me put that back here. Um, I'll clip this up while I work. 
Okay, that looks pretty straight. So I'm gonna twist it up and then move on to the next section. I wanna make sure that I have like the parts clean first before I get into the other smaller parts. Um, Cause once it's done, it's hard to change. So I like to pre-part then see how my parts are looking first and then get to the braiding or styling. I think I might do seven actually to even it out. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna have one in the middle and then three on each side. I think that's gonna work out. Parting. I did seven sections. So one, two, three, one anchoring braid, one, two, three. So now we're going to put this in a clip and move on to the first section. So for this, you're going to take your one piece and divide this into two before you do the other sections. Try to make it as even as possible. It's not the biggest deal if it's not super even, but you know, we attempt to, to do what we can on this channel, all right? So I'm going to do three on this portion. So divide out your three. Take a little bit of gel, smooth out this piece. Take your rubber band on to your piece as close to your scalp as possible. I'm gonna wrap it around like four or five times, but that should be tight enough. And then I'm gonna repeat the same process on all of the sections. So this is my hair. So this is the section all pre-parted. So I did three here, and then I have three here, and then I'm just gonna crisscross them to make the first part. So I'm gonna take the first piece of this first line and connect it to the second piece of the second line. You wanna make sure that it is tight so that it doesn't get loose as it ages. And all you need is another rubber band. I'm gonna smooth this hair out with a gel. Smooth this out. Take this first piece and then connect it to the second piece and put the rubber band directly on top. it around like four or five times maybe even more just to get it tight so it should give this crisscross vibe right here and then I'm gonna tighten it like that then I'm gonna go through take the first piece of this one and then connect it to the second piece of this one take the second piece of the first one and connect it to the third piece of the second one. So this second piece connected to this third piece right here. So it should give a little V and this will be the upside down V. And then you can tighten it just to make sure that it's secure. And that is me. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And that is the crisscross done on one side. So you got the upside, so you got this V and then you got this V. So it should be crisscrossed like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on all seven and then I'm gonna let you see it and then come back and put the fashion twist here. It's looking cute. Since this part's a bit bigger, I think instead of doing three, I'm gonna do four crisscross parts because I think three is just gonna make this look too fat, I think. Um, let's try it out.
crisscross part again so you can see it. I've done three so far. So all you're gonna do is take the first piece of this and connect it to the second piece right here. So we're gonna do that again so y'all can see it. Try to get it down as close to the root as possible so that it's tight. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the front here, connect it to the second piece here. You see I hold it down before I twist sometimes. But I feel like it's getting a little too loose and that gives you a much tighter vibe. If that's too tight for you, you can always loosen it up. And then take the second to the third to the fourth. So it's like making a little zigzag. Once you do one, it's pretty, pretty straightforward for the others. Take your finger, hold it down before switching. because it's even still kind of thick but it's the middle piece so it's all right it'll lay down once i put the scarf on it but it's looking cute now i'm gonna go in with the passion twist hair i don't know if i should combine these one two three so it'd be seven or if i should do one of each we'll see if we have 14 we'll do one on each if not we're gonna do seven that's what the hair looks like Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should have enough to do one on each. I think it would also make it look a little cooler. So we're gonna take one passion twist for each. I'm gonna crochet it in here, hopefully. Take some gel, smooth out the hair, tighten my real hair over here, and just and that is the passion twist. It looks very natural and it matches the hair really well. I'm just gonna go through and do the same thing for the rest of them. rubber band on it right here and leave the ends curly so that it kind of blends in with my hair. I don't know, I just had this genius idea right now. Let's see if it works. I like the look of the ends and it matches my clip ends really well. So we're gonna do that. A little audible in the middle of the hairstyle. But when you're doing your own hair, that's what you do. Totally switch it up. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. This is cute. I like it. Here is the final look with everything put together. I think this is definitely giving a little more big K, a little more spicy. So I'm definitely glad I did it. Let me know in the comments below what you think and how this hairstyle turned out. And if this is something that you would try. Until next time. Bye girl.